Hey Sagittarius and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your compatibility reading for the mid-March to mid-April. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Sagittarius. I will pull one card for you, one card for the Zodiac, and then the outcome for you if you are dealing with that Zodiac. So, I will tip you down here so you can see your cards come out. And we will start with Aries. First card, Sagittarius. Second card, Aries. Third card, Outcome. And see what we get here. All right. Sagittarius. Your guys' card is the Six of Cups. Aries is the Seven of Pentacles. And your guys' outcome is the King of Cups in reverse. All right, Sagittarius. So um, if you are dealing with an Aries in the next uh, month, you, you're you um, kind of thinking about somebody of your past. They're more um, involved in looking into their future, into investing in themselves. They're being patient with you, but um, you can feel the distance coming between the two of you because they're, the love here is... Um, you know, the King of Cups. This could be a very emotionally manipulating energy as well. But this person's emotions is all over the place, either you or Sagittarius. Um, Sagittarius, I do see it's you in this situation while Aries is looking pretty stable um, and and currently, you know, working on their own life, being patient, waiting for you. Um, but you're, you're not sure you want to return. You could be dealing with somebody in your past uh, that you are thinking about or you you just, um, there's just been too much going on here for the two of you to continue. So I do see things with, uh, you and Aries going, uh, a little bit south for the next month. All right. Sagittarius dealing with Taurus. Thank you. And Taurus. Thank you. And the outcome. Okay, your bottom of the deck is Queen of Cups, so you're not really feeling this Taurus either, Sagittarius. A lot of conflict, a lot of hurt, a lot of uh, fighting outside people in the comp or outside people in the relationship. The Taurus is feeling um, very back, back, very betrayed by you, um, Sagittarius. You could have had more than just Taurus in your um, relationship, but there's just a lot of fighting, a lot of bickering, a lot of hurt going on here with you and the Taurus. Um, the two of you have been in a pause, have been in a wait. Uh, okay, so this is a this is a situation where you guys are in separation right now. Sagittarius, um, there was a lot of people in this relationship. You had to get rid of that competition before the two of you could move any further. This person felt really betrayed, really hurt by you. The two of you were in a pause, in a break, um, but you do feel this is your soulmate. So you're coming back towards this Taurus, um, telling the truth, coming in, um, owning up to what it is that you did, telling the truth, um, and the two of you are going to move forward now in a, in a soulmate connection. For those of you um, in a twin flame situation where you kind of have your your shit in between <laughs> and then um, you go in that time of wait and come out enlightened by the universe, um, realize who this person is to you and come back um, telling the truth and trying to make this work. I do see uh, the two of you coming back together if you guys are in a separation right now this month, Taurus and Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius and Gemini. Gemini. And the outcome. Okay. So, Sagittarius dealing with a Gemini. You guys are dealing with some financial issues at the moment. Some could be going through some rough times uh, financially, trying to get your uh, finances in order. Um, also, this person could have left you, um, Sagittarius, because they needed to go into their hermit. They needed to retreat and figure out what it was that they wanted um, from this relationship um, coming back because they're unsure of their feelings. They're still in this hermit mode, so you're still going to feel like you're out in the cold with this person. Um, for others of you, you are coming out of a situation where you... Um, you felt like you were up and left by somebody. Somebody could have ghosted you. You're meeting somebody new. 
for some of you, um, and they are getting over heartache themselves. Now, for... Yeah, okay, so... For the majority of you, you were ghosted by this person. You were, this person walked away from you, Sagittarius, leaving you feeling this, like they intentionally left you out in the cold. They, you know, made you believe things that, that weren't necessarily true. You're dealing with a Virgo. This person is no, or this person at the moment is not speaking with you because they're unsure of their feelings. They're trying to figure out how it is that they truly feel about you. This person is also emotionally manipulating at times, but, um, Continue to work on yourself. Continue to work on your finances, your stability, um, as are they, because they are getting out of a burdensome situation that they're going to need healing. This is a soulmate twin flame connection as well, but the stars, it's not time yet. There is a delay here because this person has to um, finish a major life cycle before the two of you can work on this relationship together. So if you are in separation from a Virgo, uh, with Gemini and their chart, I'm he I'm hearing Gemini Moon or I'm sorry, Gemini Rising, Virgo Sun, especially. Otherwise, it's one of those other two situations. Okay. All right, Cancer. Sagittarius, Cancer, and the outcome. Beautiful. All right. So Sagittarius, you um, are connecting with a cancer. Uh, you are kind of holding on tight to your feelings. You kind of have your guard up, your wall up, not wanting this person to come. You're not wanting to let your per this person into like your inner, the deepest parts of you because you're scared. You're scared this person's going to hurt you. Um, there could have been some hurt in the past. But you're really just um, hold, you know, taking a step back, holding on to your heart, not letting it, not letting your feelings be known. This person is really um, anxious over that. They're wondering, they want to know why, why this isn't moving forward. Um, they're losing a lot of sleep over you not speaking to them, you not, you not letting them in. There is a new beginning here. There is a. Uh, a new idea, a passionate creation. There's something that's going to spark the two of you. Um, right now, you're currently holding back because there was a lot of hurt things said. There was a lot of uh, back and forth energy. Um, but the two of you are finding balance. The two of you are finding healing. And when you do, uh, you most definitely will have that beautiful outcome. But right now, you're dealing with the hurt and the pain of the Five of Swords, as are they. You both said things um, that hurt you. But as soon as you heal from that, your new beginning, your uh, creation will be here. Very positive if you're dealing with a cancer. All right, Leos. Sagittarius and Leos. That damn King of Cups. My, my hair. Nope, that's not it. All right, let me try this again. Sagittarius and Leos. Sagittarius and Leos. All right, there we go. Talk about some heavy energy. All right, Sagittarius, in the past, there was some sneaky, deceitful action toward this person. Um, Leo's, uh, they had their guard up. They were very defensive. Sagittarius, you could have been the one that was cheated on by Leo, and Leo was very defensive and guard, um, defending their point, defending what happened. Uh, wow, I pulled a lot there, but I didn't mean to. So... <clears throat> This is this has been a very rough pass. Um, there is uh, there is this new beginning. There is this promise of a new start. This passionate connection the two of you shared. Uh, the two of you um, seven seven very spiritual um, numbers. But you're feeling really drained right now, Sagittarius, dealing with this Leo. The need to go within, to go deep, to go uh, find. If you really want to work on this relationship or not, because this person kind of up and left, um, or you did Sagittarius, one of the two, but 
Sagittarius, you are going to come out of this looking um, mighty, mighty good with the Empress and the Ace of Wands. This is a very creative spark, a very, the creation of a new thing. Um, I do feel you will be leaving this Leo behind and um, creating something new with somebody new, uh, somebody that uh, there isn't so much hurt and pain in the past between the two of you. All right, Sagittarius and Virgo. Sagittarius and Virgos. Sagittarius and Virgo. All right, coming out of a time of wait. Could have been in a time of pause or some kind of delay between the two of you. Uh, the delay is they have to put a burden down in their own life, not having a hard, or they're having a hard time. Um, dealing with this, uh, the, the good thing is the bottom of your deck is that both of you are getting over heartache, but you were put in a pause, Sagittarius. Uh, this Virgo had to deal with things in their own life, put down a situation in their own life that was very burdensome to them. You were a secret or they were a secret um, at one point in time in this situation. The secret is coming out though in the next month. Wow. Okay, so um, the secret's coming out that they no longer want to work on a connection in their own life that has a burden that's been burdensome for them. The positive thing out of this situation, Sagittarius and Virgos, is you do have the Four of Wands and Ten of Pentacles coming out in your guys' reading. So this will um, come into a uh, commitment for some of you, um, and it will end up being your you know your Ten of Pentacle life. But this person has to acknowledge the secrets that were kept and has to um, decide who who they're going to work on things with because the Eight of Pentacles is also representative of Virgo. So Virgo is the one that's not putting in the work. Virgo is the one that's not wanting to uh, lay down the burden because there's too much work to um, to get free of this, to, to set this situation down. Um, you are coming out of that pause, though. You're coming out of that wait. Whether you go and get a new love and a new um, Four of Wands relationship with the Ten of Pentacles and leave this Virgo behind, or for some of you, the Virgo is going to finally put this burden down and the two of you can move forward. Um, I see it bo going both ways. All right, Libras. Sagittarius and Libras. All right, Sagittarius and Libras. Jeez. Guess that's one way to get your cards shuffled. Is that damn king of... Oh, no, that was the king of cups that kept coming up, huh? All right, so... Sagittarius dealing with a Libra. All right. So um, for a lot of you, Sagittarius, is you just feel your world's flipped upside down to this person. You're very uh, erratic in your actions. Um, this person could be spending a lot of time at work. This person could be splitting their energy and not enough time with you. And it's causing a breakup of this of this home. Uh you have a decision to make. Yep. Okay, you have a decision to make, Sagittarius. Uh, this person is um, not putting enough focus on the relationship. It is making you upset, making you ungrounded, making you act irrationally um, and out of sorts because this is uh, affecting the home life. It is affecting your situation, um, and it's breaking up the foundation that the two of you built together. You do have a choice, Sagittarius, of whether to stay or whether to go. Um, at one point in time, you felt this was your soulmate. You could have had a family with this person, um, but it's 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 became too much for you and you are riding that horse right on out of there. Um, leaving this Libra behind for those of you that this resonates with, because there's just, there's just nothing there. There's just at one point in time, they let your fire, but they're now focused on other things that don't include you and, and you're ready to move forward, move on. Um, yeah, the bottom of your deck, the nine of wands, 
followed by the world. So uh, you are allowing that uh, life cycle to complete with this person. You're tired of fighting. You're tired of the constant um, battling for their attention, and you are letting them go. All right, Sagittarius and Scorpio. Sagittarius and Scorpio. All right. Um, way too many there. Thank you. Knight of Wands, moving quickly. Very passionate sexual energy. They're coming out of a time of their thinking space. The two of you are not coming closer together, however, because you're going to be moving on, Sagittarius, from this person. Um, let's see what we got here. Yep. Woo! Big cards, big cards. Oh my goodness, I keep pulling as long as they're major arcana. Okay, there we go. That was the last major arcana. Okay. So, Sagittarius down with Scorpio. You could be a Sag Scorpio cusp as well. That's why you're having so many uh, major arcana cards. But uh, you're moving away from a situation um, and you're getting out of there quick. This person, um, you feel, isn't on the same path as you. You feel they need to find themselves before they can really contribute to a relationship. So, um, the two of you are not coming together with the three of wands here in reverse. You feel that there are other things out there for you, Sagittarius, other than this person. Um, they could be acting very cold, very aloof as well. But, um, you tried to manifest the situation and it just didn't work out. You are in this time of healing, uh, replenishing your own energy, working on yourself, and um, you will be very soon moving forward uh, towards the end of the month um, towards somebody new, somebody where you're going to offer your cup up elsewhere because you're meeting somebody that is very uh, spiritually connected to you. The universe uh, put this person in your life for a reason, bringing you a ba balanced, fair, just relationship. Um, also divorcing this person if this is you because you are completing major life cycles. You are also traveling to see this person. This is your wheel of fortune. This is your good fate, your good uh, fortune, your beautiful relationship. But unfortunately, it's not with a Scorpio. You are leaving that Scorpio behind um, and moving towards a different relationship, um, possibly with an air or a water sign. All right, Sagittarius with Sagittarius. Now, these energies can be vice versa because I don't know which Sagittarius you are talking about or I'm talking to. So just pick whichever side fits your situation. All right, Sagittarius with Sagittarius. Beautiful. The time has come for some of you. Wow. Okay. So the time has come for some of you um, to heal over a heartache from another Sagittarius. The Sagittarius had a third party. One of you has to heal. One of you has to focus on your work and career and just one energy. No matter what, though, you're both coming out as the King of Wands. This is bringing you to a crossroads. Yeah, you're going to walk away from the Sagittarius as well. Um, one of you is walking away. There was too many energies in this. Um, there is a need for healing, but the time is now. This is destiny. You are meant to move away from this other Sagittarius because you have somebody else coming into your life. Um, get your stability. Find your grounding. Um, get within your own element. Lead with your heart, your passion. Move forward in a direction that is meant for you because right now you're at a crossroads. You're looking back at this person like, is this really what I want to put up with the rest of my life? You are at a metaphorical crossroads. You are going to let your guard down and let your heart lead the way. You are blocking your feelings from yourself, Sagittarius. You're not sure what you want, so you've just been ignoring it. But you are going to let that wall down, let your feelings be known, and move forward away from this connection and away from this relationship that um, you just don't feel is your long-term partner. Um, however, after you walk away from that person and heal, your soulmate is coming in with the Two of Cups. That's why I said you're destined to move away from this situation and into your own element so you can move forward, you can heal, because you have, in the next two months, a soulmate coming in for you, Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius with Capricorn. Sagittarius with Capricorn. Sagittarius with Capricorn. Okay. 
Thank you. All right, you have the Magician in the reverse, the Eight of Wands. Your guys' outcome is the Six of Cups. Bottom of the deck, lots of stress going on here, lots of anxiety. Um, you feel like you're being manipulated or you're, you are manipulating somebody, uh, Sagittarius, but this uh, Capricorn is waiting on a message from you and you're not sending it or Capricorn has you blocked. Um, this is a situation that um, is a past life relationship, but I don't see it coming together, not in the next four weeks. Yeah, this is coming to the end of a cycle. Actually, this person is blocked or you are blocking them. There was a lot of manipulation here, a lot of um, trickery almost because somebody was juggling. Capricorn was either juggling you, you were juggling Capricorn, but this is coming to an end. Um, but for some reason, you're having a hard time moving away. Wow, this is a really... Uh, this is a really out of balance energy, either you or them. The truth is coming to you, Capricorn or Sagittarius, whichever one. Um, you're really seeing who this person is for who they are, and you're done. You're out. Um, whether they're leaving you or you're leaving them, Sagittarius, that is a bad connection right there. With the Magician in reverse and the uh, Emperor in reverse, that is, that is a narcissist energy. Not saying you're a narcissist, not saying Capricorn is, but that's a lot of narcissist energy and activity. Narcissist actions. All right, here we go. Sagittarius and Aquarius. Sagittarius and Aquarius. All right. So, Sagittarius, you are feeling good. You could be out drinking with this person. You could be having a good time with this person, partying with this person. But no matter what, your prayers are being answered with this person. They're coming out of a difficult time. Um, the two of you are coming together, and you both feel like you finally don't have to defend your position in this world. You finally, they finally, you finally have found somebody that gets you. You have finally found somebody that doesn't cause you to have to constantly defend yourself. You are more than ready to. Um, to nurture this relationship, getting out of a situation where you felt more than stuck and moving into one where you feel that you are going to be successful with that six of wands there with this Aquarius. This is a beautiful connection for the two of you. It is going to ascend in a very successful direction. Um, the two of you will nurture and, uh, nurture each other and create a beautiful home together. Um, in the next month, you will be meeting this person. You're going to feel like this person is the answer to your prayer. All right, Sagittarius and Pisces. All right, Sagittarius and Pisces. Thank you. All right, Sagittarius, you're reaching out to a Pisces. This Pisces wants a new beginning with you. This fam this Pisces wants a family with you. You could already have a family with this person, um, but you're giving this person a new chance. Whether this is somebody new and you're taking a leap with them, and one of you has children, no matter what, this is a past life relationship. More than uh, more than uh, definitely, this person has been in your life before. This person has been in a relationship with you before, and you most definitely are creating. A life together. This is being patient with each other. Um, this person could have had wanted a relationship with you before Sagittarius and you are unsure. You're reaching out to this person. The two of you are taking a leap of faith. This is a past life relationship coming back together in this lifetime after the two of you have both um, put the work into yourself to um, create who you want to be moving forward. Um, no longer losing sleep over this situation because the two of you are coming together. This blessing is coming in for you, Sagittarius. This is a beautiful connection, and this will bring you places. This relationship, the two of you working together, is going to bring you to a happy place, and, and the two of you are going to create a lot of things together. But this is most definitely closing the distance between the two of you and your blessings coming in with this Pisces. Amazing connection if you're dealing with a Pisces. All right, Sagittarius, let's pull your singles and couples love cards. Let's do Sagittarius singles first for the next four weeks. Sagittarius singles. Okay. Here we go. Keep an open mind. Separation. Deception, love yourself first, and children. Bottom of your deck is religious factors. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
So, um, Sagittarius singles, it's time to, uh, well, most definitely, it's time to love yourself first. When you have self-respect, when you love yourself, you're going to be able to bring in that love that is going to reflect that um, towards you as well. Uh, but keep an open mind. Sagittarius singles, you are manifesting a lover into your life, a soulmate into your life, but they are not who you are wanting to manifest. This is not the person. Yeah. This is not the person that you had a relationship with already. This is not the person that will put you in a third party situation. It's time to um, deal with your shadow side. It's time to um, allow that death and, uh, and transformation to happen and release the energy of a past person who you felt was your two of cups and who you felt was your soulmate. Um, keep an open mind. Your soulmate is coming, but it is not the person that you were in separation from that deceived you. I have separation here. Yeah, the Three of Pentacles. This person put you in a third-party situation, uh, Sagittarius. Release that energy. This person was deceiving you, and uh, you do have the strength to move forward, to get control of your emotions, to get control of yourself. Someone was wearing a false mask in this relationship, and you have the strength and courage to move forward and out of this energy, um, out of this heartache of, that this person has caused. Because when you love yourself first, uh, you're going to be able to draw in that person that is actually meant to be in your life. Yeah, you have the six of wands for love yourself first. So you will find success um, in drawing in that soulmate and calling in that soulmate. Once you put yourself first, you love yourself first. Show yourself that respect and um, confidence in moving forward. Um, this is also has children involved. With the Queen of Cups. So, um, most definitely, you have children involved in this situation. Um, that love will be unconditional and never ending. But uh, make sure you are showing your kids that through this hard time because you could be going through a divorce, you could be going through a separation with the Queen of Swords. You're cutting yourself out of a situation from a tower moment that was uh, had an emotional upheaval in your life from somebody who betrayed you, stabbed you in the back. Um, you feel uh, left you um, unjustly. So, that's what I have for you guys. All right, let's do our Sagittarius couples for the next four weeks. Okay. You guys have a separation, honeymoon, passion, stay optimistic about your love life, and children. Bottom of your deck is new love. All right, so for you Sagittarius, I'm seeing you guys are meeting somebody new. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. You do live at a di distance from each other. So time apart from your partner is, um, is here because you do live... You live in separate locations, could live, you know, in a different state, in a different town, in a different country. Um, you guys are, in the next four weeks, going to come together, though, and have a uh, weekend together. Uh, one of you is traveling to see the other. Let's see what separation is about. Yeah, strength. So, it's not, it's not always going to be easy, uh, uh, Sagittarius. You're going to have to... Um, have the strength to get through this time apart. The two of you will um, come together down the road, but for right now, you do live at a distance from each other. Um, with this honeymoon uh, card, you, like I said, you guys will be enjoying some time together um, here this month. Thank you. With the Three of Cups, lots of celebration, lots of happiness. This is going to be a very, very good time for you, Sagittarius couples, especially if you do live at a distance from each other. The time together is going to just solidify that much more your feelings for each other. Um, it is a connection of uh, three, so the uh, the Trinity, you, your person, and Source. This is a, uh, a very beautiful spiritual connection as well as emotional um, spiritual connection physical the it's all here for you guys and you're going to have a great time together there is a lot of passion um in this relationship allow your heart and soul to sing with joy let's see what 
passion card is here for you, Sagittarius. All right. Yes. So, um, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. It's clarified by the five of wands in reverse. So you are finally with somebody who you feel you don't have to compete for their attention. All their attention is yours. They are passionate about you. They love you. Um, and like I said, this, when you guys, um, finally see each other, this is going to make it even stronger. So stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. This person is the emperor. So this person I mean, stay optimistic. This person has their, their life together. They have a good career. They have children. They have, uh, you know, they have their head on straight. They know how to, uh, they know how to make a, they know what makes a, uh, they know what makes a relationship, uh, work. They know what makes a relationship strong and, um, they are all about you, Sagittarius and children. Um, your love life is affected by children and it's clarified by the star card. So, um, most definitely either you or them have children or you both have children. But, um, the reason why you are at a distance from each other is because neither one of you can just up and move. You both have, uh, children that are, um, affecting the the location that you're currently at, but when the time is right, the star, when the time is right, the two of you will find a way to come together, to live together, to be together. Um, and this is also wishes, wishes fulfilled. This is everything you had hoped for. This is the relationship that you, um, dreamed about as a child, the happily ever after. This is it for you, Sagittarius couples. You are in a beautiful connection with, um, with somebody. So, very amazing month for those of you um, in a new relationship with somebody, Sagittarius. So, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed your uh, compatibility reading. I will see you next time, and God bless.